Dozens of our neighbors still are not able to sleep in their own beds after devastating flooding last month. Today, crews are taking steps to try to help this still developing situation out of Kinsman. That is where we find First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti. Jerry, what's happening right now? Chelsea, this road behind me that's now washed out is for many that live in the Kinsman Lake area, the only access point to get back into their homes. Of course, we remember two Saturdays ago when that roadway and the causeway underneath was washed away by heavy rains that caused Kinsman Lake to drain, but in effect then cut those folks off from getting into their homes. It's been a long two weeks now since those people have been able to get to their homes to see what sort of damage may have been caused by the flooding and just clean up their homes. Today and tomorrow, Kinsman firefighters are going to be using ATVs, allowing people to get back into their homes from the other side of the lake. They're temporary trips. Eventually, they're supposed to build a temporary pathway to get across this causeway on ATV and by foot. You still can't drive back in here. We'll hope to find some of those folks trying to get back into their homes this afternoon. Of course, you can do that today and tomorrow from noon until 8. Firefighters will be standing by to take folks back in on a temporary basis. For now, though, well, in live in Kinsman, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.